Hi, my name's Magda. I teach postnatal Pilates with Busy Lizzie. Today I'm going to give you a short 15 minute taster of one of my postnatal classes, my Mummy and Me Pilates classes that you can find on our Facebook Live page. Um, we're going to work through a few different variations. I'm just gonna give you a sense of what it is that we do in our classes. So we're gonna start on our mats, or if you don't have a mat, you can work on a towel or a folded up blanket, something to give you a little bit of support underneath your bottoms. We're gonna come into a cross leg position and I'm going to bring my teddy. My teddy is my baby. So my teddy, when you see me working with my teddy, you'll see the ways that we can engage with our babies throughout the class. So we're gonna come into a seated position here. We're gonna place the backs of the hands onto the legs. If you need to hold onto your baby here, that would be absolutely fine as we start with a moment just to settle our bodies, closing down the eyes and taking a couple of breaths. When you're ready, we're just gonna very gently flicker the eyes open and place the fingertips in front. Now you can continue to do this stretch with your baby on your lap if you want to. You might find you don't get down quite as far, but if you wanna keep your baby engaged, you can, or you can bring baby onto the mat here. And we can walk our fingertips forward and take our first little forward fold stretch here, keeping our seating bones down on the floor. The eye line can be forward. If you want a little bit more, you can walk into your fingertips and let the head release here. You could even give a little snuggle into your baby. As you push your hands back up and into position, we're gonna take ourselves into a little bit of a seated twist, a really nice way to open up the chest and release some stress into the back. Taking your right hand onto your left knee, your left hand close to your body. Sit your back up tall and we take a twist out. As you come back to center, we take it to the other side. Up tall, twist. As you come back to center, we're gonna find an interlink into the hands. We're gonna push the fingertips forward, push the palms of the hands to front, sit our backs up tall to start. Then you're going to draw back into your belly buttons and take a rounding into your spine and allow the head to dip down in this simple seated cat stretch, pushing strong into the shoulders. Coming back up to sitting, we're going to take ourselves onto all fours. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could swing your legs around or you could roll yourselves forward and onto your knees here. So as we've got babies in place already, we can keep them working there if you want them to. I'm actually going to turn myself around this way and we're going to come into place here. So we're going to set ourselves into position, push the hands strong into the mat, scoop the belly buttons in. We're gonna take ourselves into our four point swim baby. Still here, you can make some really nice eye contact with this and actually helps you to remember not to look down your legs. Scoop the belly in and find your four point swim. It's a little bit about balance. Working into the arms, strong in those supporting arms and legs. And set that back down. Taking it to the other side. Breath in and out. Let's try one more to each side. Let's try and keep those hips nicely in line so that we're not kicking up too high. One more time. Placing those hands down, placing the knees into position. Let's tuck the toes, send your sitting bones up. We're coming into a downward dog stretch here. So we're gonna just lift that up high, take some breath. You might even want to take a little pedal into the backs of the heels here. Really nice way to stretch out into the calf muscle. And again, babies are still there. Do watch out for hair pulling. You might want to think about tucking those hair, that hair back in. Okay, lovely, when you're ready, we're very gently bringing our knees to the floor and taking ourselves into a child pose. We're gonna send the bums down towards the heels. Here we could be holding onto our babies or we could be doing some tummy tickles here if you wanted to. As you let your head rest to the floor and breathe. So continuing to have some connection, some contact with your baby as we go through. Coming back up and onto all fours. Now we're gonna set our hands into place. We're gonna do a little bit of press ups. So you're gonna open out those feet. This is lovely. We can do some baby kisses here. So you want to make sure that your palms are opening out nice and wide. 
setting those hands out maybe onto the edge of the mat make sure that your wrists and your elbows and your shoulders are all in line we're going to scoop our belly buttons up and into our bodies and we're going to press down into a kiss with our baby and back up and press down and back up and again and back up excellent keep that going to do try and make sure that you're not shifting your weight backwards so what I mean by that is that we're not shifting back like this we are finding our placement and back up and again and back up let's have three more one and two and three and one more time sit back into child pose so take that back again keeping a connection you can have some t tickling onto the toes or you could just hold hands as you rest that down big deep breaths for me lovely when you're ready very gently we're going to bring ourselves onto our tummies now if you happen to um have any um tension any pain around a cesarean scar here do feel free to take a little bit of padding if you feel like you need it underneath your belly okay and really important that you listen to your body so if your body is sort of saying i don't want to do this you don't do it okay we must listen to our bodies postnatally to make sure we're working safely so from this position here, we're going to take ourselves into some single leg kicks, a very simple way to mobilize and stretch through the fronts of the legs. Again, babies in front of us, if they want to be, and we can hold onto their hands and we can be making some lovely eye contact. Your belly is down on the floor, but you are drawing your belly button up and into your body so that we find our core engagement. Release your shoulders and your ears away from each other, find a lovely line in the spine. And we are going to kick two, three, and kick two, three, now, if for any reason this feels uncomfortable into your lumbar spine, so if you are working with any lumbar spine tension, you always can release yourself down. You can have a little snuggle on your baby here if you wanted to, or you could make, bring baby in front and take the hands into place here. As we kick, two, three, and kick, two, three, and again, and kick. I'm going to come back up so that you can see how we can be with babies here, and kick. And we're just going to do a couple more to each side, and one, and two, and again, and excellent. We're going to rest that down. We're going to take ourselves down and onto our sides now. So we, you might want to bring baby onto your side here. We're going to take an arm, stretching it out into the middle of the mat or wherever you're laying, and your head is going to rest down. Now, if you are working with any shoulder issues, guys, what you can do is bring a pillow under the head here, resting down, finding a positioning for the hands here. Also, if you do tend to find you'll feel quite uncomfortable on your hip, same thing. Bring a little bit of padding under the hip there as well, if you want to, if you need it. Now your babies can come and have a lovely little snuggle up here, a little sort of spoon as we go into this exercise. This is called the clam. We are going to work quite powerfully into the hips. If you have any issues with pubic pain or pelvic pain, you will want to modify this and I will give you those modifications. So we're going to take a little lift of the feet. So this is our sort of full level and then I'll talk you through any modifications. Little lift of the feet, give the toes a wiggle as we open and squeeze. Now this is a great tummy tickling time for babies. Although if you wanted to challenge yourself and you're happy with where baby is, you could bring your hand up into place here. So this is our full level of this exercise. If, as I said, you are working with any pubic pain, any pelvic pain, any hip issues, smaller lifts up and down, smaller. And the foot is down on the floor to take some of the pressure off, okay? So we're working here, drawing into the belly. Oh, you've got that full aversion here if you want it. Okay, when you're ready, one more time and bring that down gently. We're going to bring the hand into place and we are going to take support to come up off the floor. And just a little word about coming up from your back at any point, whether that be from lying on your bed or lying on the floor with your baby, always try and remember to come onto your side and come up with support so that what you're not doing is throwing your core into a really kind of challenged position. Come up to the side, take support, bring in baby with you if you want to, and we're gonna take ourselves over onto the other side and do the same thing. So we're gonna clam on the other side, bringing ourselves into place here. 
Okay, so we're gonna take ourselves back up with those feet into placement here, bringing the arm up as well if you want, or keeping it here, keeping engaged, keeping in contact with your baby as we open and squeeze. Remember that modification, so taking it down a little bit if you need to. That's going to be really different for everybody and you'll find it's different on side to side as well, depending on which side you're working on. So I do love to tell this story about how I had a class with a mum who was actually breastfeeding during these side exercises. She found the right support for her and right support for her baby and was able to continue to breastfeed, which was absolutely amazing. So we've got babies here, or you can reach that arm up. And we're just gonna do two more, one and two, and let's bring that down, shall we? Okay, fantastic. We're gonna take ourselves onto our backs now and do a little bit of work into our shoulder bridge. So you're going to bring yourselves onto your back slow and steady. Babies can come with you and they could sit on your lap or they could sit on your legs here. I would say if you've got a very active baby, so if, you, if you're thinking more about sort of toddlers, then maybe baby babies, don't put a child that's too heavy onto your body and do these exercises. But if you have little ones who want to cuddle while you're working with them, then here's the way to do it. They can sit here. They could come onto your chest or even into place. If you have a baby on you, make sure you keep hold of them. Don't try and do these exercises without. I am just gonna grab myself a little pillow as well. I'm gonna roll that up and put that between my legs here. And we can work with a little bit more focus into our pelvic floor as we do this. So we've got a rolled up pillow, a rolled up towel, whatever you want to work with in between the knees. You're going to take a very gentle squeeze onto the knees. Send energy through your inner thighs. Visualize your pelvic floor. Draw the pelvic floor into the body. Don't over squeeze your bottom cheeks. And roll up into a bridge. And roll back down. Excellent. And again. Squeeze into the pelvic floor, but not too much into the bottom cheeks, and roll it up and back down. Or baby could be laying here for with you if you want. So we try and encourage as much engagement with babies during classes. But if you find that you are compromised in terms of your exercises with having baby on you, or even if actually your baby is quite happy just to sort of chill by the side of you, then go for it, okay? So we're just gonna roll through the spine, steady and slowly here, lifting, lowering back down, keeping our focus into the pelvic floor. And next time you go up, we're gonna add an arm extension on and we're gonna lift and hold in place here, taking those hips up as high as you can. Let's see if we can really take a bit of focus into the pelvic floor by taking that extra squeeze onto the cushion into the inner thighs into the pelvic floor and we're going to hold here for five four three two and one rest that back down roll the spine down bringing the arms down to the side we're going to scoop the belly in and bring the knees into the chest taking our pillow out from between the knees as we take a little rock side to side here so we're just going to massage out the back And we're gonna bring our feet back down and into place and we're going to take ourselves into some knee drops. So the knee drops are a fantastic way for us to release tension into the lumbar spine and into the hips. There are lots of variations. Today we're going to work with the legs squeezing together. Again, babies can come back on top of you here. Just make sure, again, that you don't feel compromised or that, that you're not quite able to do the exercise properly. But if you've got little ones that come here, well, we're gonna drop the knees in one direction and take the head in the opposite direction. And if you're working with a baby, you may want to take one hand out and keep your hand on the other. If your baby is down by the side or not with you today, then you can take your both arms out. Then we roll the spine back into the chest into the mat rather, and take the knees over to the other side and open the chest. And we're just gonna do one more on each side. But if you get into this stretch and you enjoy it and it feels like it's releasing some tension for you, do feel free to stay there for a little bit longer. just very gently bringing those knees back up to center. I'm gonna bring my baby back onto my chest for a final hug here. 
And then we're gonna slowly, slowly, slowly bring ourselves over to the side again, really just being mindful of how we come up from the floor, using a little bit of support, bringing ourselves back into our seated position. Teddy's coming too. Thank you very much. That was just a little taster of some of the, of the classes that I run um, on Busy Lizzie Live. Please feel free to come and join me at some point. Thank you, goodbye.